Say good morning, Gavin. Good morning. Australia Day 2018. Beautiful day to go crabbing. Let's have a look around. This is our view for this morning. Just leaving the marina. Gav straight on to getting the nets ready. Like a good, good deck he is, mate. You know, you might notice there's a hint of a non-Australian accent over there. Yeah, like, you got to get it early, otherwise Troy yeah. just guns it when we get out of the estuary and there's no chance getting anything done. I like to spend my Australia day with uh, my fellow non-Australians. <laughs> Makes me feel more Australian. <laughs> Alright, I'll catch you soon. Alright, just come out, coming out into the, the main estuary. You as you'll see over there, all the boats are starting to set up for the day. I'll give you a bit better of a look in a sec. But that's the main party spot for Mandarin there. And this is the heading out to the ocean now. We're heading into the inlet further up. But as you can see over there, it's a nice little shallow spot. Everybody hangs out with all the big boats and they anchor up. And you see that people are already starting. They're already there at six o'clock in the morning. Beautiful day to catch some crabs. There you go, past King Carnival. Heading up to the, this is the new bridge we're going into. Hello. Nice little, little kitty over there. Yeah, yeah lunch. <laughs> Milton, I think they call it in South Africa. What was? <laughs> what was right there? Yeah. There's the new, this is the new bridge. The new old bridge we call this in Mandra. <laughs> We don't, know, we don't know what to call it, because it's where the old bridge used to be. But we're going to call it the new old bridge. And as you can see, that's what's left of the old bridge now. They've just about knocked it all down. That side. Yeah, so that's what they've got left there. And I'm not sure what they're doing over here, Gav. There might, might be a little finger jetty or something. Yeah. For the restaurants. Pretty cool. Awesome. Okay, last one on. Alrighty, we've arrived at our secret spot. <laughs> secret spot. <laughs> yeah. Secret spot with every other cunt around here. <laughs> oh, I've that. Yeah, ready when you are, Gav. Alright, so what we do is we just start dropping our run. Now the idea is for me to realistically hold a line. No, I'm gonna go across it like that, eh? Yeah. Yeah, so I wanna go obviously across the wind so we can come down the line and pick up our nets pretty much Gav's job is to get the nets all ready on the way out and then drop them when we need to so we like to spread them apart a fair way to hold up a bit of ground that way we some... it's you know like if you might have heard there Gavin told me to drop my revs down Realistically, he, you shouldn't speak to a skipper with that tone. <laughs> Should address him with a bit more authority. But we'll let it go this time. It's hard to get good deckies. Look at him go, skipper mate. Look at him. He, he, know, he knows how to pull a rope. He's had very a lot of experience at pulling ropes. He nearly fucked up there as well, didn't he? He ain't say nothing. He's under pressure. He's under pressure. Well, that's enough for now. You don't need to see us put out all ten nets. Fast There you go. All right. More to the right. Uh, shitty first pickup, but you get that going into the sun. What do we got? Come on, Gavatron. Let's go. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a size crab for the start, mate. There you go. It's a beauty. Don't touch the rope, mate. Get him before he gets me, Gav. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Put a little bit of brown bum. Right, that's it. Gauge is over there. So what we're going to do is we're going to gauge them up. Just make sure we're within, we within regulation. All right, you know, I've always got to check because when you go crabbing with the South Africans, they, you know, they don't really care about size. 
i.e. we throw a size back, we don't steal. <laughs> uh, the size. That size, there we that go. That's beautiful, beautiful size crab. Chuck him in the in the cooker, in the esky. All right, we're gonna, we'll put some water in the next run. We can just go in there like that for now. Let's chuck that off, chuck some water in. One's definitely size. Watch that one, mate. Yeah, hey. watch it. He's on, he doesn't want to go. Yeah. Put, put your foot on one. Uh. Yeah, put your foot on him. Yeah, I'll he's, take you. Yeah. Oh, wait, I'll take you. Gauge him up. It's going to be sides, wouldn't he? Right. Let the thong go, mate. There you go. And size, we have three. We have three, beautiful. Off to the next part. Righty. Off to go get. Check out Check. Pipes. There's the skipper, the sun in the background, nice silhouette. Can't see his mining track because you just dive with the sun behind you. Silhouette, silhouette's better than what? Better than the same old face. Alright, let's go. Ready, what's over to the pots? Last view of the estuary. Back to skip. <laughs> <laughs> These are fucking big ones you've got. <laughs> Barefoot crabbing is not always good fun when you got the monster trying to bite you. Just give him something to hold on to. Hey, you bastard. This is not my ass. <sighs> oh, he's a nice big one, eh? Oh, yeah, just get out in the sun. Get out behind. Yeah, that's a beauty, isn't it? Nice brown bum. It's it's come out of the river not long. Look at him, he'd be well over the well 150 mark, Do I reckon. See how much of it? Oh, yeah, we'll chuck some gauge on him and see, but he'll be probably, I'd imagine he'd be, yeah, he's the big boy. Yeah, he's well, not 150, but he's in the 140s. Done, but for some reason, yeah, nice one. Go up to number 12 already. That's oh, nice and empty. Time to put empty. Yeah. Right. Got a crab. Better for size. That won't be size, eh? I didn't realise it was in gear there, mate. That's alright. I did tap it out, but she thinks she needs a service if it's on the gears. The old Suzuki 4. Mate. Yep, good stuff. There's the next one. He's having a shag. There you go. Look at that, guys. This is what happens. This is how other crabs are made. Oh, let release, mate. Release. You can do it. I'll put it in your chat anyway. Let's get it off. Get it in quick. Oh, no, he's done. He's bolt. He's out of there. Now grab the now grab the female. We're going to cable tie that to one of the nets. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> Sorry, dude. You were getting a bit randy there. Yeah. Oh, well, at least he got one in before he got knocked off. You know, man can't complain about that. Yeah, his, his size. Yep. Yeah. Sorry, mate. All right, this one. Uh, that one there, we, we cable tie that to the other to one of the nets. No, we Tracks all the other males. Say bye. See you later, mate. See, we're, we're like really good men. We always put the women back. <laughs> All right, we can't find our next pot. There we go. Uh, <laughs> doesn't know where we are. 
Have a go, Roger. Oh, yeah. In the sun. How's that? Found it. Right. Found it easy. I'm going to show that's you how. I'm going to show you how well I put us onto the nets yeah. in these, oh. even in these oh. extreme oh. conditions. Oh. That's why I bring Gav. He's got them oh. fucking long fucking. Oh, wow. oh, look at that, Gavin. What happened? <laughs> I think we should change, mate. Now, this is what I should re shouldn't really be recording this, but this is what can happen when you when you miss a net. You have to have a second go. It just, realistically, it's just practice. Uh, yeah, I've done many years this, but someone ran the pots the wrong way. Take two. Do that deliberately to show the other the YouTubers out there how it's done. Crab after crab at the moment, guys. I haven't had a. I think we've had one pull without a crab, but we made up with it with another one because we got two in that one. Let's just jump out the yeah, way. There you go. Gav's Thanks, got Gav. a juice for her. My hero, Gav, saving me from getting bitten by the crabs. I should really introduce you to Gavin. You know, this is Gavin here, ex-male model. Look at him. Oh, perfect specimen of a man. Son, got yeah. the back son, uh, uh, probably uh, silhouetted. That's it. You probably remember him from such um, films as like Debbie Does Dallas, <laughs> Super Fistful's here. What else were you no, in? <laughs> Good, not good, Gav. Bit of bad luck there. An empty pot. As you can see, when I was on the kayak, you see, it's where we've got the way we run the pots into into the uh, sun and winds. Probably not the best idea today, but well, we catch a crab. So. Well, we catch a crab, so. Yep. Yeah. Perfect one there. Trying to do this one hand and YouTube isn't isn't working the best. That one's not. Oh, I might go close though. Before I get black, Craig size away. I reckon if that size, it's probably not worth keeping, eh? Here there's the song. Yeah. I'm having that thong back. That's me trusty. Trusty thongs there, mate. Too small, eh? Just dangle him in the water, even. Careful. I'm not under any steam, mate. That was the problem. Yeah. Try that. Can you reach it? Yep. Yeah. Just gonna have to put it out on the other side, mate. Do you want to use a pot winch? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, crab from under the boat. <laughs> and it's a nice one as well. Well, yeah. looks like he's cut it, lost the nipper at one stage, I'd say. Yeah, yep. that's good. Yeah, he's, well, he's either that or he's, uh, <laughs> or he's only been working the one arm. <laughs> he's, you know, he's only, been, shame, he's only been working one bicep. Size. Size well, crab, this one. I wish I was filming that coming in, but it wasn't. Big arms, this one. There you go. Gav's going to put the sun. There's a nice That's one. Where? Turn him around. There's a nice look. Get the gauge, have a look at the size of that one. Well, I, well over the limit. He's a good sized crab. 
that 15 or 14. <laughs> um, 15. Well, count anyway. We always check our catch. As much as we joke around, we uh, are law-abiding citizens. Yeah. <laughs> we are. And 20 crabs. You know, it's quite a lot of crab anyway, you know. Yeah, like you're pointing that aimlessly and talking into it. Yeah, yeah, I'm just using like a microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Something to look at, a little bit. Ah, yeah. Ah, let's look at the sun again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just aimlessly telling them my thoughts. I'm trying to edit the sound out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we, Gavin? Because we're right on that pot. Uh, 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 cut it. Our pots are pretty close together. We haven't really done this that professionally today, but hey, whatever, that's working. It's working, we're catching crab, and that's all that matters. It's pretty easy this time of year. You can be a bit of a rookie and still manage to get a feed. Stay there. Oh, he pushed it away. I don't even think this one's sized. If he is, he, I don't think he's a keeper. Gear Gavin, before you put all the accelerator. What's going on? Yeah, I'm doing my job. <laughs> Have you driven boats before, Gavin? Yeah. I just never get a go. <laughs> oh, this is killer steer, mate. It takes a, it's a, a little bit harder than the average boat, this one. And YouTube as well, mate. And, and, and GoPro on it, controlling the video. Oh, look at that, mate. It's put you straight on that pot. First time today. Yeah, well, you know, well, first time for everything. No, pop cam and there's nothing in it. I think we might have to tie the GoPro to a pot yeah. and lower it down, eh? Yeah. That would It would, wouldn't it? Yeah. You'll never see the footage of the Ray taking the <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bloody Ray, I don't have the footage! <laughs> Stolen my GoPro. Yeah, I reckon that. So just pulled this, pulled this pot and got this, what I'd say, yeah, this one's a nice one mate, it's a, yeah, it's a big bluey that. Look at, the, look at his arms, nice one. Yeah. Got that in the esky. Alright, coming up to pick up our uh, last pot of the run. We have 10 pots and we said the first one was the white float and the last one was the white float. Just so we can um, identify what our last and the first is. Sense, oh, that one there got dragged before, by, probably had a stingray in it. I think it was the hell of our mates actually. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up Gavin! <laughs> Put that down! <laughs> now what happened it's Gavin threw it down the wrong side of the boat yeah, and got dragged under the boat. Man. You really want the, if you really want the truth, that's what happened. Alright it's time for a beer while we um, yeah, wait for our next run I reckon. I know it's a little bit early, but on Australia Day you're allowed to drink as soon as you want. It's the only way you get in the mood of having fights. You get really sloshed really early, and you go down the beach. There you go. Yeah, yeah beautiful. Oh, I'll have one of your emus with you, yeah? Yeah, you got to have an emu on Australia Day. Bush chook. Oh, yeah, yeah. Bush chook. Bush chook, whatever they want to call it. Oh, the end result of today's crab. Uh, we got a 20 in, oh, realistically, over, just over probably an hour and a half, which was a um, little we dicking around a bit, so it was pretty good. That's good time, you know, good time of the year. Easy, easy to get a feed. All right, time to head back to the marina. Heading back. Yeah, uh, try it. Happiness. Try to 
Bradford. So you got to line them up like this, mate, to get them in their different sizes, so you can then cook them in the same size. Pork! 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 They'll stab in each other's eyes, it's not yeah. my fault. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, you look at you. Oh, well, look at your back job. Let's get one on your back look at that. Very Aussie. Dad, just stick them all out. Alrighty, time to put them in the boil. Yeah, All good, mate. Yeah, yeah, cool. Drop them in. There you go. Sorry, guys. Just look up quickly. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Get that back on the boil. Isn't it? Put the lid on. Wait, wait, one second. Bernie wants to get Sorry. a picture. There we go. So, normally about, I don't know, seven, eight minutes. So I just so you sort of know when, it, when they start floating, you know it's good to go. All right, time to give them a check. Bringing these bad boys are pretty much ready. Around the seven minute mark, good to go. So what I do is pull them straight out in a quick drain, keep that going, and go straight onto the icy water. Cool them down, stop them from cooking. Woo! Yep, straight in there like that. Good thing about the, that crab cooker over there, it just doesn't lose its heat once it gets hot. Done. All right, next lot. End result, 20 crabs cooked bloody perfectly. Beautiful 2018 Australia Day.